What is XFAT? The FAT32 file system is already widely used in many computers, however it doesn't support partition bigger than 2 TIB and files larger than 4 GB. Fortunately, a replacement for FAT32 is coming, the XFAT. Microsoft has chosen this file system as the basis for its future products and Mac OS X already supports XFAT in its recent releases. The XFAT can be considered as the FAT64, which offers better support and larger storage size. Space management, the number of subdirectories and supported file sizes improved in XFAT, including higher number of files in each directory from 65,536 inches FAT32 to 2,796,202 inches XFAT. Better yet, FAMIT capacity is slightly higher in XFAT than in FAT32. For example, in a 4GB USB flash drive, with the original size of 4023 MB, 4014 MB is usable when FAMIT with FAT32, 3997 MB in HFS, 3974 MB in NTFS and 4022 MB in XFAT. The gain could be small, but it is there. Be careful though. The default cluster size is 32 KB, implying higher loss when working with very small files. XFAT is well optimized for flash drives, like OSP drives, memory cards and SSDs. 32 KB clusters are more suitable for chips with large blocks and limits the wear of the chips. Finally, access permissions and date management and file properties is more efficient in definer time granularity. XFAT has an accuracy of 10 ms. FAT32 is limited to 2 seconds. Main problems of XFAT is related to its licensing policy with Microsoft XFAT and it is not exactly an open source technology. It requires royalties payment to Microsoft for integration into an operating system. Mobile devices such as digital cameras do not require royalties. Windows 7, the newest OS from the Redmond, is obviously compatible with XFAT, and all of its functions are supported. Windows 7 inches 32, or 64, big version is fully compatible with XFAT and it can even be used with the ready -Bist feature, which overcomes the limitation of 4 GB file size and OSP drives. Windows Vista, Windows Vista is compatible XFAT, but only from Service Pack 1. Additionally, certain features are not available, access permission and date management. Unlike Windows 7, in Vista, XFAT can't be used in conjunction with ReadyBoost. Windows XP, there is no direct support for XFAT in Windows XP. But a driver is available on the Microsoft site and it requires Service Pack 2 for Windows XP. For older Windows systems, there is no official support and it is supported in Windows Server 2008 version and with a driver in Windows Server 2003. Snow Leopard Mac OS X support for XFAT is already present in version June 10, 2004, June 15, 2010, but only in Mac models with the SDXC card reader. Latest Mac Mini and Dimac are compatible with XFAT. Linux On the Linux system, there is still no direct support for this file system. Obviously, XFAT requires royalty payment and it is not free, which make integration unlikely. Currently, there are several solutions, but they are not practical or free. The first is integration in the kernel, but it is in read-only, and still at alpha version. The second is through the implementation of Fusion to distill on beta version. The last is the use of paid, proprietary drivers, which is much more reliable. When tested in Windows 7, XFAT seems to have equal performance to the FAT32 on the NTFS is a bit faster. Will XFAT replace FAT32? Perhaps, when the entire computer market has transitioned completely to Windows 7 or above. For consumers, performance gain is insignificant, but most importantly, they won't be hampered in or in limitations of FAT32. The problem is XFAT is not yet readily available everywhere as FAT32 is used on 99% of machines on the market. XFAT requires more modern computer with latest OS, Windows 7 and recent versions of Snow Leopard, while consumer devices such as cameras won't support this file system. In the end, XFAT is interesting, but won't replace FAT32 just yet. And given the way things are progressing, FAT32 is likely to remain be used for a very long time.